Hey guys, how's it going? Today is just a short, quick little video because I have some water pumps in hand that I don't normally have all at the same time. I got the Pierberg BMW pump, I got the WP, uh, I believe it's 611 Ford Fusion pump, and we can compare them side by side. And I even have a EMP Stewart pump that we can take a look at as well. Of course, these are all popular options for air to water intercoolers on aftermarket supercharged applications. So that's what makes them interesting. So let's take a look. So down here, this is the Pierberg BMW pump. And this is the fusion pump right next to it. And right away, you can see some differences. You know, the, the motor right here on the BMW one, it's definitely a more compact um, packaging to install. And you can even just see the way you would mount it. The flanges down here are flat. There is a little bit of a bump there, but you could just bolt this down somewhere, secure it. And even the inlets and outlets for the pump are in a more compact and sort of more, uh, ergonomical you know sort of design what would make sense the fusion pumps a little bit different you know you can see how they, they stick out also you can see that just the connection differences this has these rough serrated type not serrated but it's like a corrugated end on here to clamp on fusion has these smoother ones and the fusion has angled mounting points that are kind of interesting so you would have to get a little creative with your bracket or just mount it at a strange angle and figure that out and of course having the big body in the center you'd have to have a split bracket of sorts but not the end of the world um, I haven't checked the the sizing differences yet we can take a look real quick what do we have over here so that's one and a quarter inch inlet and outlet fusion pump is oh, about the same inlet and outlet so that's interesting the other thing to consider is how to drive these pumps i've heard i haven't had a chance to play with these i heard that these are just straight power and it does look like there's some smaller um, pins there where you would probably send a signal wire to turn the pump on fairly straightforward the bmw one looks like it has a big controller out here and i have a feeling that you have to do some sort of complex um, pwm signal or knowing bmw is probably a can based signal and some proprietary protocol to make it work I don't know, <laughs> haven't figured that out yet. But this is likely gonna be the more popular option. These also come in at about $200. I actually picked this one up for $197. These are usually around three to $400, so they're also a pricier option. So how does this compare to the Stuart EMP pump? Well, I got one back over here in the Cobra. Let's go take a look. So here's that EMP pump installed on here. You can see it's a fairly compact motor compared to this. It's shorter and stubbier, but it does have a huge controller box on the back. It's a little bit hard to see the way it's mounted in here. So that it is kind of a larger packaging too. It has a flat surface here where a bracket can just bolt on nice and square. So mounting it's fairly easy. Um, but getting something in here like this wouldn't be too terrible. Let's see, you could probably go something like that. You could make it work with the inlets and outlets there. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of a little quick comparison of them. At some point, I would love to do a actual testing and review of these. I'll do flow tests, pressure tests, and we'll see how much current they draw. Be great to compare them. Unfortunately, I can't do it right now because the BMW is broken again. Uh, for whatever reason, this thing eats water pumps. The last one made 11,000 miles, and we need it on the road like right now. So we got to install that pump, and we won't have it for testing. I will have the fusion pump and the EMP pumps for a while, so we'll get some more testing and work done on that. But Anyhow, I hope that's helpful. We'll see you guys later.